So SST stands for solid state drive, which is way faster than traditional hard drive. SST can be found these days with various form factors and various types. Their price range also differs a lot according to their types, form factor, speed and brands. So people get confused with all this. Today I'm here to clear all your doubts about SST. We'll see the form factor of SST, type of SST and which one to choose from. So let's start with form factor. Most of the SST today comes with three form factors. They are M.2 SST, 2.5 inch SST and add in card SST. M.2 is smaller and looks like the stick of RAM. 2.5 inches SST is of course 2.5 inches and add in card SST are quite bigger in size. Add in card is quite fast SST and some of them has inbuilt coolers to control thermals, which is great. But due to the size it occupies in motherboard, it is not practical to use. So that's the reason you'll only see M.2 and 2.5 inches SSD in market, not this add-in card one. So this was the form factor of SSD, now let's see its type. So there are mainly 5 types of SSDs and they are SATA 2.5 SSD, U.2 SSD, SATA M.2 SSD, NVMe M.2 SSD and NVMe PCIe SSD. Among these 5 types of SSDs, SATA 2.5 and U.2 is of 2.5 form factor, SATA M.2 and NVMe M.2 is of M.2 form factor, whereas NVMe PCIe comes in AIC form factor that is add-in card. But the thing is, for regular consumers, only 3 kinds of SSDs are available which are NVMe M.2, SATA M.2 and 2.5 SATA. So let's see these 3 types of SSD one by one. Wait, before moving into that, let me explain some relatively new terms for you. So first of all, let's see what's SATA. Well, SATA is known as Serial ATA that stands for Serial Advanced Technology Attachment. It is just the interface through which your SSD or SDD is connected to motherboard. It was traditionally designed for SDD, so it's quite slower. Latest version of SATA, which is SATA 3, has the speed of 6 Gbps. Now let's see PCI Express Bus, also known as PCIe. PCI Express Bus is very very fast interface as compared to SATA. PCIe has something called lanes and one lane is referred as X1. So basically the more these lanes are the faster it is. The latest version of PCIe which is PCIe 3.0 with only one lane that is X1 has the speed of 9 Gbps which is really really fast. So we can see how fast PCIe is as compared to SATA. Now let's move into NVMe. NVMe stands for Non-Volatile Memory Express and it is just the communication protocol which was developed for SSDs. So basically it's just the software for SSD and without this your SSD will not work as fast as they should. Now let's see what is M.2. Now M.2 is just the form factor of the memory that uses PCIe bus. It is quite similar to what RAM looks like. Ok now let's head back to those 3 types of SSDs. So first of all we have NVMe M.2. NVMe M.2 uses the technology of NVMe protocol and comes in M.2 form factor. It uses PCIe as connection interface and as we know PCIe is way faster than SATA and NVMe protocol was specially developed for SSDs, NVMe M.2 is very very fast. In fact it is the fastest SSD available to consumers. The read speed of NVMe M.2 is up to 3500 Mbps whereas its write speed is up to 3300 Mbps. The example of NVMe M.2 can be Samsung 970 Pro EVO. Now let's talk about the second type of SSD which is SATA M.2. SATA M.2 uses SATA protocol and it comes in M.2 form factor. Here the connection interface needed is SATA interface and since it uses SATA, it is obviously slower than NVMe M.2. The read speed of SATA M.2 goes up to 600 MB per second whereas write speed goes up to 500 MB per second. So this is the huge difference as compared to NVMe M.2 but still it is way way better than traditional hard drive we are used to. So the example of SATA M.2 can be Samsung 860 EVO M.2 SATA. Lastly we have 2.5 SATA which is also based on SATA protocol and it comes in 2.5 form factor as the name suggests. Also the laptop SDD uses 2.5 form factor. So 2.5 SATA is used to easily replace traditional hard drive. And again since it uses SATA it is slower, in fact it's even slower than SATA M.2. The read speed of 2.5 SATA goes up to 500 MB per second whereas the write speed goes up to 400 MB per second which is not that far away from SATA M.2. Samsung 860 EVO SATA 3 is the example of 2.5 SATA. So here are some comparison in graph. Bye, bye, bye.
So this was all about three different types of SSD, but which one to choose is really the question here. Well, if you really don't mind spending quite more and want really really fast SSD, then NVMe M.2 is the way to go. But for most of the people, SATA M.2 will do fine. And if you just want to upgrade from SSD without spending too much, 2.5 SATA is the way to go. I hope this clears all your doubts about SSD. If you have any questions regarding this, you can comment down below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.